Cindy. Hey, hey, hey. Dale, can you tell your homework's done? Since when? Since your mom asked me to watch you. Fine. Amy, you're coming with Dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. You cannot come in here. I'm supposed to call the cops if My you My daughter's come coming with me today. Whoa. Amy, come on. Amy, get your stuff. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Doris. How's the coffee? Whoa. We have a situation. 1036 down in the town and country. We need backup right away. I'd been on the road a long week, and I was anxious to get home. I was sitting in the airport, had some time to kill. The guy next to me looked kind of interesting. So I turned to him and said, so what do you do to put bread on the table? He goes, me? I'm a hostage negotiator. Perimeter clear? Yes, sir. OK. What's the situation? Everything online? I said, a hostage negotiator? I'd never met one of them before. I said, so if some sleazeball is holding all these people hostage, you're the one they call. I said, OK, OK. Picture this situation. Here you got this guy with a big gun. He's holding these people hostage. What's the first thing you do? He said, well, you secured the perimeter. You don't want this thing moving on you. You don't want to escalate it. You want to control it. I said, OK, OK. So now there's a perimeter secure. Now what do you do? He said, well, you set up your base of operation. He said, so people know where you are, you know where everyone else is. That helps you keep that element of control. OK, all right. So now your base is set up. Now what do you do? I wanted to get to the good stuff. I wanted to hear about all the guys with the guns and how they take this guy down. No. That's not what I want. Let's say you run a Milwaukee talkie. Stop talking and listen. Now what do you do? Perps up. He said, well. I find a quiet place where I won't be interrupted. And I create respect in my heart for the perpetrator. I can get your ex-wife on the phone. No! Say what? Create respect in your heart for the perpetrator? That didn't sound very law enforcement to me. Guys, can you give me some space? Yeah. Respect in your heart for the perpetrator? You're kidding, right? He goes, oh no, I'm very serious. I said, but why? He said, people are respect radars. They're constantly scanning their environment. If they sense disrespect, he goes, that becomes issue one. Everything else is back burner. That's not what I want. I know you care about your daughter. As soon as he said that, I knew he was right. Well, can they tell on the phone whether or not you respect him? He said, oh, yes. After just a few interactions, if they sense disrespect, they'll kill a hostage. And they'll say, you don't respect me, at least you'll fear me. Now let's talk. Wow. This got my head spinning. Here's a hostage negotiator that shows respect. Just listen for a second. I said, how do you do that? That's not what I want. How do you respect someone who's doing such a horrible thing? He said, I just close my eyes. He said, I think in my head. I don't know what circumstances led up to this situation. I don't know what you want. I don't know how you were raised or where, but this I know. You are a human being, and you are due the respect every human being deserves. He said, I locked that thought in my head. When I feel it in my heart, he said, we're ready to negotiate. I just want to take my little girl home. Wow. I just wanted to what an intense situation. Here was this hostage negotiator telling me he was able to give someone his respect regardless of their actions, almost in spite of their behavior. Imagine that an important relationship of yours is stuck, or perhaps you're stymied in a negotiation with a coworker, friend, or even a family member. The last thing you may think to do may be the first thing you should do. This is all very counterintuitive. I had always assumed that respect was something someone earned. If someone is rude to you or disrespectful or fearful or suspicious, you can still give and demonstrate respect to them. Set aside your sense of superiority and find respect. 
You may not ever be called upon to rescue a hostage, but if you think to start with respect, you may rescue a relationship.